Well, good morning, everybody. At least it's morning for about another 40 minutes here in the mountain mountain region. Um, how y'all doing? It's Wednesday. Yes, it is. And we are back on track with our Bible studies. So today we will be continuing our journey through Judges, the book of Judges. Uh, we'll be starting on chapter 13. Let me make sure. I'm pretty sure that's where we're at. Chapter 13, we'll be continuing our study in Judges, this stupid cord, there we go, sorry about that, the cord was getting in my way, anyway, I hope y'all are having a good week, I hope everything's going well for you, and um, getting, getting our way through the week, um, why don't you go ahead and grab yourself something to drink, and settle in, and we'll start our study, all right? Let's go over a few things here while we're waiting for everybody else. Um, I just liked a video by Laws. Um, he's the fellow that works with uh, Shauna Cox in all the discovery for the treason and all the murder of Lavoie Finicum and all the other stuff that was going on with Uranium One and still going on. Um, he just did a data dump like you would not believe. And it's right down in the liked videos. You can't miss it. It says straight to the top. All right? So check that out because it's definitely worth it. If you want to know what's going on, if you want to, to have access to all kinds of rabbit holes, that's the video to watch. Take the time to watch it. There's a ton of information in there. Also, the video, I think it's like three or four back in my light videos. It's Deborah Traveris, and it's a Dave Hodges um, interview. And we got both one and two, both parts of the video, or both parts of the interview. That's incredible. You need to watch that, too. I know they're long. I know they're long. They're an hour apiece. But if you want to know what's going on in this world, you probably ought to take the time to watch those videos. The reason that most people don't have a clue is because they don't take the time to educate themselves. Are you one of those? Or are you going to look into it and see what you think? Everybody wants to complain and moan and groan about things that are going on, but unless if you're educated, what can you do? What can you do if you're not educated in what's happening? If you don't have eyes to see? It's up to you. I don't expect anybody to believe anything that I say except for what comes out of the Bible because that's God's word and it's undisputably the truth. But whatever I say, you better go do your own research. I'm bringing you the truth. I'm bringing you what I know that's going on, that I see, that I find when I dig the rabbit holes. I'm bringing them to you. I drop it off in my light videos, then it's up to you to do the research to find out for yourself. Okay? There's a lot of things going on, gang. There's a lot of things going on, and you need to know about it. We don't need to be a part of it, but you need to know about it. All right? All right, cool. I'm not going to drive you nuts with a bunch of stuff about this. It's up to you to do the research. I'll present you the information, but if you don't watch it, what can I do? All right? All right, go ahead and grab your Bibles. And we are beginning, get my glasses here. We are beginning in the book of Judges, chapter 13. Okay? If you need a couple more minutes, go ahead and stop the video. We'll be right here. We ain't going nowhere, okay? Also, I want to tell everybody, <coughs> Mike Adams now has real dot video up and running, okay? So no more YouTube censorship, no more being shadow banned. We'll actually be out there so people can watch the videos. You won't have to specially look for this channel. 
All right, I'm getting the the kinks worked out right now as far as passwords and stuff like that goes, so I can start downloading uh, con content onto real dot video. You have to use the www in front of it. I think that they're having some issues with uh, Google. I think Google's trying to block them. So go ahead when you punch it into your finder, punch in www dot real dot video and that'll get you where you need to go okay all right and it'll be the same uh the channel this channel is going to be the same as the one over there all right black robe church brother chris that way you'll be able to punch it right up and find it there's a lot of patriots going over there that, they're real busy today because i've been trying to work through them on email to get everything all set up so i can start putting content over there if this works out Awesome. YouTube is going to be nothing but stupid pet tricks, just like they should be for doing all this censorship and stuff. They should be a thing of the past. Facebook should be a thing of the past. Everything should be right there next to MySpace, dead in the water. Time for us patriots to pull together. Time for us all to pull together. Go on over to Real dot video www dot real r e a l dot video b i d e o okay all right a lot of people are already over there I'm getting this channel going we'll be there soon all right let's get going and at that point who cares what YouTube does thing of the past at that point they flush themselves down the toilet too bad. YouTube was a good platform for everybody. Gained a lot of popularity, a lot of people here. And um, just like Facebook, they ain't nothing but traitors. They're all traitors. Facebook, YouTube, all of them, they're all traitors. So let's see what Mike Adams has in store for us. Hopefully he's got all this figured out and we can take off as soon as we get set up. All right, cool, enough about that. All right. Chapter 13. Here we go. And the children of Israel did evil again in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of the Philistines 40 years. All right, let's think about it. Who's the Philistines? Philistines are giants, they are Nephilim, they're giants. Let's think about this for a second before you start disputing me. King David slew Goliath. Who is a Philistine? Who is a giant along with his brothers who David slew? So, the children of Israel have been handed over to the Philistines. Verse 2, And there was a certain man of Zorah, of the family of Danites, whose name was Manoah, and his wife was barren and bare not. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman and said unto her, Behold, behold now, thou art barren and bearest not, but thou shalt conceive and bear a son. The Lord likes doing that, huh? Did it to Abraham, did it to this this lady here, he likes doing that. Did it to Mary. That's a heck of a shocker, I'm sure. Verse 3. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman and said unto her, Oh, we already did all that. Sorry. Verse 4. Now therefore beware, I pray thee, and drink not wine nor strong drink, and eat not any, clean, any unclean thing. For lo, thou shalt conceive and bear a son. And no razor shall come on his head. For the child shall be a Nazarite unto God from the womb. And he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistines. Then the woman came and told her husband, saying, A man of God came unto me, and his countenance was like the countenance of an angel of God. Very terrible. But I asked him not whence he was, neither told he me his name. But he said unto me, Behold, thou shalt conceive and bear a son, 
And now drink no wine nor strong drink, neither eat any unclean thing. For the child shall be a Nazarite to God from the womb to the day of his death. Then Manoah entreated the Lord and said, O oh my Lord, let the man of God which thou didst send come again unto us, and teach us what we shall do unto the child that shall be born. And God hearkened to the voice of Manoah. And the angel of God came again unto the woman as she sat in the field. But Manoah, her husband, was not with her. And the woman made haste and ran, and shewed her husband, and said unto him, Behold, the man hath appeared unto me that came unto me the other day. And Manoah rose and went after his wife and came to the man and said unto him, Art thou the man that spakest unto the woman? And he said, I am. Wow. Makes you wonder if it was an angel or if it actually was God. He said, I am. Hmm. Interesting. Verse 12, And Manoah said, Now let thy word come to pass. How shall we order the child, and how shall we do unto him? And the angel of the Lord said unto Manoah, Of all that I said unto the woman, let her beware. She may not eat of anything that cometh of the vine, neither let her drink wine or strong drink, nor eat any unclean thing. All that I commanded her, let her observe. Pretty strict orders. Verse 15, And Manoah said unto the angel of the Lord, I pray thee, let us detain thee until we shall have made ready a kid for thee. And the angel of the Lord said unto Manoah, that Thou, thou, detain me. I will not eat of thy bread. And if thou wilt offer a burnt offering, thou must offer it unto the Lord. For Manoah knew not that he was an angel of the Lord. And Manoah said unto the angel of the Lord, What is thy name, that when thy saying come to pass we may do thee honor? And the angel of the Lord said unto him, Why askest thou thus after my name, seeking, seeing it is secret? So Manoah took a kid with a meat offering and offered it up upon a rock unto the Lord. And the angel did wondrously, and Manoah and his wife looked on. For it came to pass, when the flame went up toward heaven from off the altar, that the angel of the Lord ascended in the flame of the altar. And Manoah and his wife looked on, and fell on their faces to the ground. But the angel of the Lord did no more appear to Manoah and to his wife. Then Manoah knew that he was an angel of the Lord. And Manoah said unto his wife, We shall surely die, because we have seen God. But his wife said unto him, If the Lord were pleased to kill us, he would not have received a burnt offering and a meat offering at our hands. Neither would he have shewed us all these things, nor would as at this time have told us such things as these. And the woman bare a son, called his name Samson. And the child grew, and the Lord blessed him. And the Spirit of the Lord began to move him at times in the camp of Dan, between Zorah and Eshtal. Chapter 14 And Samson went down to Timnath, and saw a woman in Timnath of the daughters of the Philistines. And he came up and told his father and his mother and said, I have seen a woman in Timnath of the daughter of the Philistines. Now therefore, get her for me to wife. Then his father and his mother said unto him, Is there never a woman among the daughters of thy brethren? or among all my people, that thou goest to take a wife of the uncircumcised Philistines? And Samson said unto his father, Get her for me, for she pleaseth me well. But his father and his mother knew not 
that it was of the Lord that he sought an occasion against the Philistines. For at that time, the Philistines had domination over Israel. Then went Samson down and his father and his mother to Timnath and came to the vineyards of Timnath. And behold, a young lion roared against him. And the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him and he rent him as he would have rent a kid. And he had nothing in his hand, but he told not his father or his mother what he had done. And he went down and talked with the woman, and she pleased Samson well. And after a time he returned to take her. And he turned aside to see the carcass of the lion. And behold, there was a swarm of bees and honey in the carcass of the lion. And he took thereof in his hands and went on eating and came to his father and mother and gave them and they did eat. But he told not them that he had taken the honey out of the carcass of the lion. So his father went down unto the woman and Samson made there a feast for so used the young men to do. And it came to pass when they saw him that they brought 30 companions to be with him. And Samson said unto them, I will now put forth a riddle unto you. If ye can certainly declare it me within it seven days of the feast, and find it out, then I will give you thirty sheets and thirty changes of garments. But if ye cannot declare it me, then shall ye give me thirty sheets and thirty change of garments. And they said unto him, Put forth thy riddle, that we may hear it. And he said unto them, Out of the eater came forth meat, and out of the strong came forth sweetness. And they could not in three days expound the riddle. And it came to pass on the seventh day that they said unto Samson's wife, Entice thy husband, that he may declare unto us the riddle, lest we burn thee and thy father's house with fire. Have ye called us to take that we have? Is it not so? And Samson's wife wept before him and said, Thou dost but hate me and lovest me not. Thou hast put forth a riddle unto the children of my people and hast not told it to me. And he said unto her, Behold, I have not told it my father nor my mother. And shall I tell it thee? So he's saying, If I didn't tell my mom and dad, why should I tell you? Verse 17, and she wept before him, trying to get the secret out, playing on his heartstrings, trying to get the secret out. And she wept before him the seven days while the feast lasted, and it came to pass on the seventh day that he told her, because she lay sore upon him. And she told the riddle to the children of her people. See, threw him under the bus. The minute that he trusted her, Wonderful, huh? It's the way it works. Verse 18, And the men of the city said unto him on the seventh day before the sun went down, What is sweeter than honey, and what is stronger than a lion? And he said unto them, If ye had not plowed with my heifer, ye had not found out my riddle. So if it wasn't for his wife, they wouldn't have known. She threw him under the bus and betrayed him. Happens so often, so often. Verse 19, And the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he went down to Ashkelon, and slew thirty men of them, and took their spoil, and gave change of garments unto them which expounded the riddle. And his anger was kindled, and he went up to his father's house. But Samson's wife was given to his companion, whom he had used as his friend. Chapter 15. But it came to pass within a while after, in the time of wheat harvest, that Samson visited his wife with a kid. And he said, I will go into my wife, into the chamber. But her father would not suffer him to go in. Her father wouldn't let him go in. And her father said, I verily thought that thou hast utterly hated her. Therefore, I gave her to thy companion. Is it not her younger sister fairer than she? Take her, I pray thee, instead of her. What a deal. Verse 3. 
And Samson said concerning them, Now shall I be more blameless than the Philistines, though I do not them a dis I do though I do them a displeasure. Sorry about that. And Samson went and caught three hundred foxes and took firebrands and turned tail to tail and put a firebrand in the midst between two tails. And when he had set the brand on fire, he let them go into the standing corn of the Philistines and burned up both the shocks and all the standing corn with the vineyards and the olives. Wow, what a way to burn their fields. Verse 6. Then the Philistines said, Who hath done this? And they answered, Samson, the son-in-law of Timonite, of the Timnite, because he had taken his wife and given her to his companion, and the Philistines came up and burnt her and her father with fire. And Samson said unto them, Though ye have done this, yet will I be avenged of you, and after that I will cease. And he smote them hip and thigh with a great slaughter, and he went down and dwelt in the top of the rock Etam. Then the Philistines went up and pitched in Judah and spread themselves in Lehi. And the men of Judah said, Why are ye come up against us? And they answered, To bind Samson are we come up, to do to him as he hath done to us. He jacked them up. Verse 11. Then three thousand men of Judah went to the top of the rock Etam, and said to Samson, Knowest thou not that the Philistines are rulers over us? What is this that thou hast done unto us? And he said unto them, As they did unto me, so have I done unto them. An eye for an eye. Verse 12. And they said unto him, We are come down to bind thee, that we may deliver thee into the hand of the Philistines. And Samson said unto them, Swear unto me, that ye will not fall upon me yourselves. And they spake unto him, saying, No, but we will bind thee fast, and deliver thee into their hands, but surely we will not kill thee. And they bound him with new cords, and brought him up from the rock. And when he came unto Lehi, the Philistines shouted against him, and the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him, and the cords that were upon his arms became as flax, that was burnt with fire, and his bands loosened from off his hands. And he found a new jawbone of an ass, and put forth his hand, and took it, and slew a thousand men therewith. And Samson said, With the jawbone of an ass, heaps upon heaps, with the jawbone of an ass, have I slain a thousand men. And it came to pass when he had made an end of speaking that he cast away the jawbone out of his hand and called that place Remeth Lehi. And he was sore athirst and called on the Lord and said, Thou hast given this great deliverance into thy, the, the hands of thy servant, and now shall I die for thirst and fall into the hand of the uncircumcised? That God clave and hollow place that was in the jaw, and there came water thereat. And when he had drunk, his spirit came again, and he revived. Wherefore he called the name thereof En Hak En Hakaro, which is in Lehi unto this day. And he judged Israel in the days of the Philistines twenty years. Okay, we're going to go ahead and stop on sixteen. And we'll come back to that on Sunday. Yeah, that was pretty intense, huh? Old Samson, he's out there beating on the giants. But he is a big man, too. Just don't cut his hair. Anyway, pretty interesting study today, huh, guys? I enjoyed it. I hope you did, too, and I hope you learned something. We'll continue with that study on Sunday. But for now, we're done with our study. Um, pay attention to what's going on. There's a lot going on, and there's treason big time. Big time treason. What's going on with our special counsel? They're not releasing anything. 
Mueller's making sure and Rosenstein is making sure that nothing is released. If you want to see what's actually true being, the, what, what laws were broken and the, the treason that was committed, look at that video that I just liked from laws. It's pretty incredible. You really need to take the time to watch that. And watch the Deborah Traveris video also. There's a lot going on, folks. It doesn't seem like it. And I know everybody thinks that Trump is going to save us. Well, there's only one Savior, gang. Only one. And he's getting ready to come back. That's Jesus Christ. He's getting ready to come back. How about this thing that happened with Google Translate where they punched in dog 22 times in some strange language and it told them that God's Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. It said it right there. It's pretty wild. Uh, who knows what all the ins and outs of that is or if it's an actual message from God. Pretty interesting though. That was pretty fascinating. There's a lot of things going on. But, you know, no matter what's going on, make sure that you're in knowledge of it. Knowledge is good. We need to know what's happening in order to be able to stand our ground against it. Um, but don't be part of it. Don't make yourself part of it. It's not worth it. Be knowledgeable of the world, but be not of it. Okay? So, then we get to our final. Repent. Repent with your mouth. Repent with your heart. Ask Jesus for forgiveness of your sins and mean it. It's no game. Mean it. Declare Jesus Christ to be your Savior and get baptized. And then form a relationship with Jesus Christ and pray. Pray in the mornings. Pray at night. Pray about anything in your life. Everything in your life. Anything. Everything. Everything. And prepare. Prepare. We're getting ready to go hot on this civil war. You better be ready. You better be ready to defend your house. You better be ready to defend your family. There are crazy things going on in society. If you're out there with, the, with all the people, anything can happen at any time. Now, I know it's nice to go out and hang out in public and do all that other stuff, but it's just too darn dangerous anymore. And not only that, but if you go into any public gatherings, they say you can't bring a firearm. So if somebody sneaks one in and opens up on the crowd, you can't even defend yourself. So is it worth it? Fellowship. Fellowship in your homes. Bring people together. Do Bible study with them. You don't have to follow these videos. These videos are just a basis of the Bible me reading the Bible and giving my opinion on certain things. But you can do Bible study in your own homes. Nobody has to even be there. Just you and your family. And there again, keep your family close to you. Make sure they stay close to you because when hostilities break out, you don't want them out and about. You want them to be close so that they don't get themselves involved in it. Love your neighbor. I don't care if he's a crazed libtard and he screams at your kids and he screams at your animals and he screams vulgarities at you. You still got to love him. There's going to be a time pretty soon come up that it's going to hit him square in the face like a ton of bricks and he's going to realize that he did wrong. And then that's when he's going to need a friend. He's going to need somebody to help and his help in return. That's all I got, gang. That's all I got for today. I hope that this lesson was valuable to you. Um, I'd really like to thank our new subscribers that have come in. You're very welcome to go through anything on this channel that you want. Help yourself. Leave comments. Share in the fellowship, join in in the conversation, and be a part of what we're doing here. All right? Like I said, we're going over to Real.Video. I'm going to keep posting videos here on YouTube just to be a thorn in YouTube's side. 
but we're going over to Real Dot Video until they 86 this channel for good. They've already got me shadow banned. I you can see, look at the views. Five, six, seven, eight views. They got this channel majorly shadow banned because they don't want the truth getting out. And they just took down the SGT report, which was one of the largest channels on YouTube. They're just shooting themselves in the foot. They're just shooting themselves in the foot because everybody's going to be going over to Real Dot Video, and this place is going to be a ghost town. There's going to be a lot of people laid off because of the stupid things, the, the, the bad decisions that have been made. But that is what it is. Anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. We're on our downhill slide into home plate being the weekend. So get ready. Beautiful day, summertime. We're halfway through summer. What can I say? Enjoy. All right? All right, gang. That's all I got. Y'all have a great day, great rest of your week. Enjoy your family. Love your neighbor. And have. Oh, we'll see you on Sunday. Okay? All right. We'll talk to y'all later. God bless. Bye.